SwiftUI gives us alert modifiers for presenting important information on the screen with one or two buttons. Then there's a sheet modifier that slides a new view over the current view. But there's also a confirmation dialog alternative to alert. This will show more options sliding up from the bottom. Now the presentation is very different and it matters. Alerts are shown in the middle of the screen on iPhone and you gotta dismiss the thing by pressing one of its buttons. It's great for okay buttons, for example. I acknowledge a message, go away now. On the other hand, confirmation dialogues have lots of buttons, potentially two, three, four, five, six, ten 10 buttons in there, plus a cancel button. And you can dismiss it by pressing outside of the buttons. It'll go away that way. So it's not as critically important. However, yes, they look different, but the way they're implemented is very, very similar, which is great for us as developers. Uh, both are made with a modifier. One is confirmation dialogue, one is alert. You then bind that to a Boolean, and it'll say, show the alert when the Boolean's true, or show confirmation dialogue when the Boolean's true. Both have a big array of buttons to show, button A, B, C, and D with various actions. Uh, both can have a second closure with an extra message in there if you wanted. So they're very, very similar. So, to demonstrate confirmation dialogues being used, we're gonna make a little view here that toggles some sort of condition to show or hide the sheet. For example, we're gonna show some text and tapping that text will uh, change the Boolean somehow and it will adjust the way the text looks. So we'll say, uh, at state, private var showing confirmation equals false. And at state, private var background color is color dot white. Then down our body, we'll have our text hello world with a fixed frame, width 300, height 300, and then use that for our background color. So we filled in with a white background. And then we do on tap gesture, we will do uh, showing confirmation equals true to flip the Boolean. Now for the important part, of course, we've got to add another modifier to the text creating and showing a confirmation dialogue when we're ready. Now, just like uh, alert, there's a confirmation dialogue modifier that accepts a title to have if it applies to the platform we're running on, Mac OS, whatever, um, plus a binding to say, to say, am I showing or not? Uh, if you want to, you can then add a, a second message closure with the message text, it's down to you. Now, we provide our dialogue with the title and optionally a message as well, but then importantly, an array of buttons that are stacked up vertically on the screen. And these will scroll automatically if you have many of them, but ideally you don't. Um, but you can have a bunch here, unlike with alerts. And uh, ideally there's also a cancel button there too. It's not required, um, but remember the user can also cancel by tapping outside the button. So it's a good idea to have one just as a nice fallback. So we're gonna add this modifier now. Confirmation dialogue. And our title will be change background is presented bound to showing confirmation. And for the actions, we'll add a bunch of buttons in here. So we'll say button red, we'll do background color is red. Then button green, background color is green. And then button blue, what else? Um, background color is blue. Blue, even blue, there we go and then button cancel. Now, this will do nothing at all, but make sure you give this thing a roll of cancel so the system can highlight it as needed. We'll also add a message, might as well. Text, which will be uh, select a new color, like that. Now go ahead and press Command R to build and run our code now. We can see how it looks. That's Hello World, I right, press on it up slides our uh, confirmation dialog. Notice the title change background is not visible here on iOS. Um, obviously SwiftUI works in many platforms. That particular one does not have a title showing on iOS. Um, but I'll choose red and we get a red background, of course, green, we get a green background and blue, a blue background. But notice also, of course, cancel works to hide it. And you can tap elsewhere, so I'll tap up here somewhere to also hide it. Um, so you can always escape, even without a cancel button. Notice also how cancel is just a little bit bolder. So folks know that's the cancel button here. Anyway, that's confirmation dialogue. It really is very, very similar to alert. Honestly, you're just changing 
alert here would get you um, an alert instead. You know, if you had that, for example, red or cancel, whatever. Um, it's so, so similar, which is really, really helpful for us as developers because we learn the tools once and then apply it in different kinds of contexts very easily.